Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the show. Today is Monday, December 6th, 2021, and the topic of today's show is self-authoring. Well, what is self-authoring? And I guess before we should, or before I should get into that, I guess I should welcome back any new listeners or welcome any new listeners to the show. This is a show that provides insight and tools to build the life and homestead of your dreams. My name is Rob Kaiser, and I am your host. I am excited to talk to you today about self-authoring. That's why I was quick to jump the gun and skip the introduction and dive right into it because some of you may know what self-authoring is, some of you may not. And for those of you who don't, I'll give you the answer to that question right now. And for those of you who do, I'll provide a little bit more of a definition for it. All right, well, what is self-authoring? The Self-Authoring Suite is a series of online writing programs that collectively help you explore your past, present, and future. People who spend time writing carefully about themselves become happier, less anxious and depressed, and physically healthier. They become more productive persistent and engaged in life. This is because thinking about where you come from, who you are, and where you are going helps you chart a simpler and more rewarding path through life. The past authoring program helps you remember, articulate, and analyze key positive and negative life experiences. The present authoring program has two modules. The first helps you understand and rectify your personality faults. The second helps you understand and develop your personality virtues. The future authoring program helps you envision a meaningful, healthy, and productive future three to five years down the road and to develop a detailed, implementable plan to make that future a reality. Put your past to rest. Understand and improve your present personality. Design the future you want to live. The self-authoring suite will improve your life. Well, guys, if that doesn't sound like something that is appropriate to the show, I don't know what is. And that is precisely why I made this one of my goals for the 2021 year. And admittedly, this is one of the goals that I didn't really carry through with. Well, first of all, let me rephrase that. It's not one of my goals for the 2021 year. Writing more consistently was one of my one of my goals for Q4. First and foremost, my goal was to focus on my health, following the protocols outlined from the Institute of Functional Medicine and the department at the Cleveland Clinic, and I have been doing so for over 2 months now feeling better than I ever have in my entire life. And over the holiday, Thanksgiving holiday, I got out of journaling routinely. I just put everything on hold. And once that long weekend was over, it was almost like last week was trying to regroup and catch my breath from a whole lot of nothing along with a whole lot of work within the community Thanksgiving weekend but this week was different and this weekend was different got back to journaling doing so routinely and I revisited those goals that I had for Q4. And for those of you who aren't paying attention, we only have a few weeks left in this fourth quarter before it is 2022. Just a few weeks. Where's the time gone? Anyways, this process of, whoops, this process of journaling has gotten me thinking about 
those those goals. You know, first was health. Second was spending some time, additional time, with some specificity on my personal accounting. And the third was devoting some time to writing. And I haven't done this enough. And I've spoken about self-authoring in a few past episodes. And I've linked to those in the show notes. The first, so, and this is, I'm, I'm reviewing this and I'm going over this because this is a bit of an indicator to myself, sort of a, an accountability discussion, if you will. And also a hat tip to someone in the audience. And I'll get to that here in just a second. But the past episodes on self-authoring were episode number 44, titled Writing Your Autobiography. And that was recorded and released on November 18th of last year, 2020, over a year ago. Okay, note, over a year ago. Then in episode number 126, titled 25 Podcasts for All Around Growth, I talked about it a little more. And that was in April of 2021, April 5th to be exact. And then more recently on episode number 178, I talked a little bit more about self-authoring in a show titled A Focus on Health and the Future on August 23rd, 2021. Now, as this was on my mind last night and this morning specifically, I made some time to write. Not as much time as I would have liked, but something is better than nothing. And I took the brief amount of time writing this morning and that will serve as a good platform for when I spend more time on it, either later tonight or tomorrow. We gotta start somewhere, and that somewhere is always a good springboard towards where we ultimately want to be. Now with all that said, after the writing today, That puts me at about 13,129 words into my autobiography. And of course, there would likely be some formatting and some tweaking and editing and such, but right now I'm really just in that past authoring module where I am remembering and articulating the positive and negative experiences of my past. I haven't really gotten to the point where I am analyzing them yet, but that is all part of the process within the program. And the reason I mentioned my word count of 13,000 is that might sound uh, that might sound, sound impressive to to some people, but one of our audience members, shout out to Letty, Letty Lou, up in the great Midwest, participated in NaNoWriMo, National November Writers Month, I believe, and she wrote more than 50,000 words last month. That's impressive. You can check out some of her work at Liberty All Day blog. That's at libertyallday.home.blog. And you can learn more about her and everything she does because she is a creator. She's got a breadth of work out there and uh, you can join her for some insight and her view into freedom and liberty at libertyallday.home.blog. You can also get some banger recipes there. So check it out. 
she's been a big part of this group and I bring her up because when I think about some of the progress that I've made I realize that if I really applied myself how much progress I actually could make and she's a great example of dedication application and just straight up getting shit done 50,000 words in a month well done and that that little reminder makes me realize what I could have accomplished had I been as consistent as I set out to be during Q4 now I'm happy and pleased with the results of my primary objective which was my health so I'm not going to get too bent out of shape about any of that but it is definitely something to remember and keep in mind and that's why I sat down to write for just 10 minutes this morning before assembling the notes for today's show 10 minutes is better than nothing 10 minutes consistently every single day would get me to the point of where I wanted to be which was spending an hour a week writing I would actually exceed my goal 10 minutes a day but an hour block is a little bit sometimes difficult to squeak in with everything else going on but 10 minutes every day consistently gets you to that point and not only gets you there but allows you to exceed think about that consistency consistency now again this self-authoring suite involves three parts there's the past authoring program which as we read previously helps you remember articulate and analyze key positive and negative life experiences there is also the present authoring program which has two modules itself the first helping us understand and rectify our personality faults and the second helping us understand and develop our personality virtues and then finally the future authoring program helps you envision a meaningful healthy and productive future three to five years down the road also helps us develop a detailed implementable plan to make that future a reality now as many of you know I am a member of the 48 days Eagles community and I'm utilizing a lot of the material there including but not limited to the 2022 goal-setting workbook in my life as one of many resources to build the, and develop the life and homestead of my dreams right but do I put all my eggs in one basket in terms of personal growth and development no I keep an open mind continue to explore other options even things that seem unusual or maybe even weird to me at times keeping an open mind is critical and it's also something I don't talk a whole lot about because I find that the people who oftentimes speak so frequently about how open of a mind they have are oftentimes the ones with a mind that is more closed than they are aware of there's a couple different options that you can choose when you work through the self-authoring program depending on what your goals are but to keep things in line with where I'm currently going 
specifically with regard to that three to five year plan, which is in line with the 2022 goal setting workbook, I am working my way from the past through the present before doing the future so I can gain some insight into my own life, my own past, and see what's gotten me to where I am, the changes that I've made over the past 12 to 18 months, changes that I've outlined and shared here in this podcast. And we'll take a look at all of that. I will take a look at all of that, that is, and utilize those resources of and from my own life to help me develop and envision a meaningful, healthy, and productive future. So when we take all of these tools and resources and compound them and implement what works, ignoring or simply discarding what doesn't, maybe keeping note of it for future reference, if or when we should change, it's all part of all-around growth. And that's part of what the show is all about. Not only a documentation of my own journey and process, but also sharing the, the tools and resources that I use with you so that you can do the same in whatever capacity is appropriate for your life your family, your community, and your future. And that's about it for today's show, guys. If you want to participate in a group chat with people like myself, people like Letty Lou, who cranked out 50,000 words and then some in a month, you can join us in the Telegram chat at t.me slash allaroundgrowth. There's also a Facebook group, but a lot of us quite frankly, aren't that active on Facebook, but we definitely are on Telegram, and I am considering a MeWe page. So if you think that's a good idea, guys, and you want to see that, let me know, and I'll see what I can do to make that happen. There's also a link in the show notes on how to leave a rating and review in Apple Podcasts, and Many of you guys out there are listening through Apple Podcasts. And as of December 2021, ratings and reviews in and through Apple Podcasts help the algorithm and help expose people to the show that wouldn't otherwise be exposed to it. So if you like what you hear, please take a moment and check out that link and watch the one minute video to learn how to do that more effectively and efficiently. If you have any questions or feedback for me, like I said, you can join the Telegram group at t.me slash allaroundgrowth, or you can just send me an email at allaroundgrowth at gmail.com, and I would be happy to talk with you one-on-one and exchange some dialogue with you that way. Okay, guys. I hope that you have a great week. Like I said, it's Monday, and hopefully this show can serve as a springboard for you in your life as you get started in your week. And if it's already later on in the week, then by all means, utilize this as a springboard for the rest of the week. I hope it's a good one. This is Rob Kaiser, and thank you.